It is certainly a hot topic in West Michigan, a highway billboard that says you don't need God. It's gotten hundreds of comments on our Fox 17 Facebook page since we first brought you this story last night at 10. And with a discussion this big, some have questions, especially the little ones. Fox 17's Lauren Unger live downtown with more on this story. Lauren? Well, Christian, this certainly isn't the first billboard to raise some eyebrows, and those who have little ones know that not much flies under their radar. So tonight we took a look at what to do when a hot topic hits home. Whether it's an overly direct call for colon cancer screening, a new view of Christmas, or using a mass suicide as a punchline, those signs high above the highway often land right in the middle of national media. Now the latest billboard debate comes from the Center for Inquiry. They're running a series of signs across the country, letting people know it's okay to live without religion and to talk about it. If nothing else, if the uh, campaign gets a dialogue going in the community about these issues, uh, it will have done its job. There's no denying it's done just that. The comments on social media sites like Facebook keep coming. And where adults are talking kids often follow. Kids are curious by nature. With countless images crowding into our daily lives, it can lead to question parents aren't always prepared for. Adult topics like sex or religion. But a child psychologist we spoke with says you shouldn't shy away from answering. If a child is old enough to ask and formulate the question, I think we as parents should be in a position to answer the question. Now, the amount of information we provide may be dictated by that child's age, by their developmental level, but we should always be in a position to answer the question. The key, he says, be honest and open to whatever your child has to say. The more that we open up that conversation, the more that we in, uh, empower them to have their own opinions at an early age, I think the easier it is for them to, to kind of trust our thoughts later on. Trust that becomes more important when it comes to wider topics they may see on the internet or along the highway. In the ideal world, we would teach kids to be critical thinkers, that they can question something just because it's up on a billboard or they see it on the computer. It doesn't mean that it's fact. Critical thinking that obviously has become more important. If you've done any research on the internet, you can type in any topic, get thousands of sources out there, some reliable, some not. Live in Grand Rapids, Lauren Unger, Fox 17 News. Lauren, thanks. Still ahead, a couple's home in Montcalm County.